Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Strictly Boxing with Derek Poppy Rolo. All right, boxing fans, we saw some really nice, exciting fights last night again. I mean, the co-main event and the main event was very competitive fights. And uh, I think that um, Matchroom is doing a good job, man. Put them on com competitive fights. I mean, main event, the O must go. It was a 19-0 against 29-0. That was a, a, a very rare thing that we get to see undefeated guys competing on this level. And um, we're going to go about and talk about that. The main event was Richard Hitchison, 19-0, um, and, and he fought against Gustavo uh, Lemons. And Lemons was 29-0. He's from Australia, and Richard Hitchison is from New York City fighting out of Brooklyn. So, of course, you know, we, we got a lot of love for the East Coast fighters. Of course, that's where we at over here. All right, but before we go into the main event, man, I'm, I want to give a big shout-out to my man, Rajon Pittman. Man, he keep pushing it, man, pushing good content on his uh, podcast. And uh, he had a lot to do with me starting up. So I just want to give a shout-out to him, man. What's up, Rajon? Peace, bro. Keep pushing, doing what you're doing. Um, I want to go into the co-main event, man, because the co-main event was a, a, a really good um, competitive fight, and I like to see fighters that come from one level to the next level, and so we got Diego Pacheco, 23-year-old guy, he went up, he went in against a guy, Sean McCullen, Sean McCullen um, put up a really good fight, um, it was the first time that Pacheco goes 10 rounds and goes the different goes the distance broke his nine knockout streak he had nine knockouts in a row and um mccullum came in put up a very very competitive fight and he uh he stopped the uh the um knockout streak so it was good um you know, it was something to see. Diego had to had to work a little bit. He had to make some adjustments. And that's what young fighters need to do. They need to learn by fighting better quality opponents. And when they play quality opponents, takes them to the next level. That leads us right into the main event. Right into the main event. Where you got Richard Hitchison. He's 19 and 0. All right. He's a, a, a very, very good fighter. He, he trains and, and works with. With, with Terrence Crawford and Shakur Stevenson. And he's from Brooklyn, New York. Gustavo out of Argentina. It, it won a really good fight. Um, I'm going to tell you, though, I see a lot of podcasts early this morning talking about the decision. Um, and I don't really want to compare uh, my decision against anybody else's decision, okay? What it is to me, I mean, people talk about who's the A side, who's the B side. I've heard people say if if Gustavo was the A side, he would have won. To me, that means he won. If the champion gets a draw, that means the champion lost. If the champion, uh, you know, you know, uh, look, the A side, B side, that's not who wins the fight. Who wins the fight is the person who scores the most points round by round and actually won the fight. Now, when you get these judges giving people the, 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 the I understand close bouts, okay? Real close rounds, we can give the 10, nine, uh, 10 point system, we go 10, nine, we can give it to the, uh, the A side fighter. I also understand when they say that the challenger has to take the title. I understand all that. But when we really break down a fighter, who wins the fight? Who goes in there, those, scores the most punches, more more effective punches, blocks and move, who, who gets hurt, who doesn't get hurt, anybody get dropped up? When you break down the fight, who won the fight? Last night, Richard Hitchison lost the fight, in my opinion. In my opinion, it was a very bad decision. And, you know, one judge got it 117-111. Everybody agrees that was that was crazy to, to even, what fight were they looking at? Like, that person should never judge another fight. The other two, two, two judges agree at 115-113. 115-113, that means some close rounds 
went to the uh, the A South fight. I could, might 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 be able to go with that. You know, everybody said if they would have called it the draw, I would have went with that. All right, okay, okay. Who won the fight? For 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 these scores to be like that, that means Gustavo won the fight. In my opinion, okay. Now, what happened? What caused that to happen like that? What happened for that to happen like that? I mean. I mean, he's the A-side. He's a younger fighter. He's a younger fighter that Eddie Hearn invested some money in, and he wanted to build him up and see him see him ready. He, he had to overcome some obstacles in that round, I mean, in that fight. So he's going to be a better fighter. And so get him a little bit better, a little bit better. He went, he went the distance. And so going distance also uh, gives him a little bit of uh, a little experience. You know, and so he's going to be better than that, okay? I think he underestimated the guy. I think what happened is, you know, when you get on those winning streaks, you're 19 and 0, you're winning every fight, and then, you know, nobody never heard of Gustavo Limons. Nobody never heard of him, so, who you know, I think he underestimated him. You know, he wasn't in the best shape, and Limons was a really hard puncher. He applied pressure the whole fight, um, I mean, some of them middle rounds, you know, uh, uh, Richardson had to box a little bit. He boxed a little bit. He got out the way, a few things like that. But on my opinion, in my opinion, he got rocked the first round and the second round. He got rocked, and he wants on the middle round. In my opinion, what I'm talking about, the fight would have been a whole different fight to me. Gustavo Lemos probably would have stopped him, or definitely to me would have won the fight. Had the referee warned him for the constantly, constantly holding and holding and holding. He held, he held the guy the whole fight. Referee did not warn him. Not one time did the referee say, stop holding. You know, these is those fights that, that, that we want to see, the competitive fights. But we don't want to see the biasness going on from the judges and the referees. Like, this guy is holding... Every round, every time you get in there, he holding them. And the referee not one time says stop holding. In the co-main event, he he, he uh, uh um he was warned, you know, they they, they want they warned the uh challenger for um for uh holding. I mean the uh I think it was um who was holding? I think it was Pacheco holding. Pacheco holding, but they warned him. No, they were warned McCollum. They said, listen, you know, Pacheco McCollum was holding Pacheco, and they warned him. They warned him a few times, a couple times, stop holding, stop holding. If they would have done that in the main event fight with Richard Hitchison and Gustavo Limons, it would have been a different thing. If he couldn't hold, what would he do? He would have had to fight. He would have had to fight and possibly um, get hit. And that Limons was a very, very pr a hard puncher. But big shout-outs to... Uh, the match room, Eddie Earn, he put on a good fight for us to see. Very competitive fights. Very rare that we see 19 and 0, two two O's undefeated must go on a, on a fight. Oh, that was good. Um, now the winner of the Richard Hitchison and Gustavo Limos fight is scheduled to fight, in my opinion, the boogeyman in the 140, and um, fighters Subrio Matias. Rich Hitchison cannot beat him like that. I mean, he, he might have gotten better. You know, we might have said he underestimated this guy and didn't come in with his best effort. And we can probably go with that. He's going to have to get better. He's not going to beat Rich. He's not going to be Sabrio Matias like that. He's not going to do it. Matias is the hardest puncher. He's the most deadliest fighter, in my opinion, in that weight class right now. And uh, he's... Any of them, even any of the ones that fought last night, is gonna have to pull their game up a little bit in order to uh, be successful against Sabrina Matias. All right, listen, man, listen. Just wanted to drop in for you to feed into the fights last night. Uh, appreciate it if you uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. I mean, you know, we can agree to disagree. I mean, you know, we know it's common for us to get. Uh, Bad decisions when you know, the A side, B side, and the B side really wins, but we give it to the A side. Of course, he's the A side. I mean, that don't really make too much sense to me. 
But I mean, it's the boxing world we live in. We have to adjust and deal with it. I'd like to see your comments on what do you think about the bout, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me. Listen, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please, I need my subscriptions. You know, slowly and gradually, I'm bringing up, man. I need the subscription. Subscribe to my channel if you like the channel. Hit the thumb bells. Let me know you, you like the, the, the content. And I appreciate it if you uh, leave me a comment, man. This is Derek Pop Roland. That's Strictly Boxing. Peace.